Paul, a lot of talk around the water cooler for the last couple of years have been, when is Brian Dable getting a head coaching job? We have been banging the drum a lot, a lot for Leslie Frazier to get a coaching job somewhere. Yep. And we've also taken a, a retro, uh, you know, introspective look about it and say, listen, okay, maybe Frazier, maybe he's at that point of like a Wade Phillips where he likes being a coordinator. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to be, a head coach. I think he would, he would love to be a head coach again. I have a destination for Leslie Frazier that I okay. think he's going to, he's going to end up. Can we just say this right now? If the Buffalo bills win the super bowl this year, both of them are going to be going somewhere. Ooh, I think that's a daring statement. I think they both go. I think neither one of those coordinators will be hotter at that point. Yeah. Hashtag sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Think about this, Mark. When was the last time you saw an offensive and defensive coordinator get pulled off a Super Bowl team at the same time? Th that happens because here's the deal. Here's the craziest part about it, which many of you probably know, many of you don't. If you're on a Super Bowl competing team, a lot of the guys are already hired for those positions already. So because they got to get their program started. Yeah. So if you're a coordinator on a team that's going to the Super Bowl, continue. Let's let's talk to Eric Bieniemy about this, okay? <laughs> That's right. Because there's a reason that he's you know has had you know struggled because a lot of those positions are filled before the Super Bowl happens. Right. You well, know? that was that was one of the things that we talked about with Dable last year was, you know, the AFC championship game just happened to correspond with when Brian Dable was, you know, banging the Let's go to Cleveland, him. right? Well, yeah, Cleveland. And he had interviews all over the place, you know, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Complaining that he wasn't focused. I, I think that's fair criticism. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Very fair criticism. But you have to trust that these are professionals. And, and again, they have a very strong staff with them. And I think that's sort of the problem is that when you have a strong staff with you, uh, you're and you go somewhere. What's going to happen to that staff? They're, yes, they're going to be coming with you, right? Usually, usually. I mean, right. Charlie Weiss. Yeah, Charlie Weiss was talking to Notre Dame when they were on that Super Bowl run, right? And he left. Yeah. I think I, I can't remember if Cornell left at the same time. I'll have to check uh, that. Yeah, I, I think th it's ooh, that, did Cornell that, and maybe. Weiss leave. Might be a yeah. Maybe, um, okay. but I, I think it's it's really. I think that's probably something that gets underplayed. You know, like if Leslie Frazier leaves or Brian Dable leaves, I'm telling you right now, the Babbages are gone, right? Your secondary coaches and linebacker coaches are gone. Uh, they're probably going to go together, and it's going to be a fight of whoever gets hired first as to who gets them. You know, like okay. your positional players on this, your positional coaches are going to get swiped from you. The, the staff is, if you lose both coaches, you are in for some problems because your staff is going to be gone. I All think your coaches are gone. I think you'll have trouble on the offensive side of the ball. I'm not sure about the defensive side of the ball. I, I, maybe it depends on where you go, right? Because so, you do have a defensive head coach. I yeah. mean, I think I mean, a lot of the philosophies, I think, stem from McDermott, but they're they're interpreted by by Frazier, and he puts in what he wants. I mean, because I see a lot of Frazier this year. I, I see a lot more Frazier than McDermott right now this year. I agree. I agree. Um, well, and with that, right? So where do you see, if you had to pick a destination for Frazier, because I know, I know you think Frazier is going to take a head coach. I disagree with you. I think Frazier stays another year regardless of what happens. Um, but if you think Frazier is going to go anywhere, where do you think it would be? Well, it's interesting because I talked to a friend of mine who's actually, he's a, he's a podcaster out of Chicago. And I said, I think the perfect spot for Leslie Frazier when they get rid of Nagy in Chicago. That's going to happen. Would be to Chicago. Yeah. He's he's already ingrained in the city mm -hmm. from the 85 Bears. He'll bring that that Monsters of the Midway mentality there because he's a defensive head coach. And it was funny. As we were having the topic of discussion, we were going back and forth talking about hiring Frazier. Um, he was talking about Nagy, and I go, you know one guy that's pissed off at Matt Nagy? And he said, what? I said, be enemy. Because he's ruining, you know, you know, by by association, he's ruining Biennemi's chances of because everyone's is. thinking, well, Nagy was off of that tree. What's going on? But everyone else off of Reed's tree has been successful, except right. for Nagy. Well, Biennemi's a guy that you keep. You know, I know that offense is being piss poor right now, but yeah. I think 
I think a lot of that has to do with your head coach. I, I agree. I, I don't think Nagy makes it this season. No, but I think Frazier would be a perfect fit in Chicago. I, I just think that. I think it would be amazing to see Frazier in Chicago that. bringing that uh, philosophy there, and I, I would love to see him get a head coaching job again. I look at it a little different, Mark, because Dable is obviously the main target, right? That's the yes. That's the, that's the guy that teams are really going to go after is Dable, and mm-hmm. I think Frazier has enough loyalty to the process that if Dable goes, Frazier will say, "I'll, I'll." I'm I'll give you one more year. I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, because think of what it would do to this team. It would rip the team to shreds if you lose both coordinators because you're going to lose all your support staff, man. Like, it would just rip the team to shreds. Um, unless it was an opportunity that just simply couldn't be turned down. But if you're looking at these teams where there's going to be opportunity, there's, there's like, one good team, and then there's everybody else. And I don't think Frazier's interested in an everybody else scenario. Yeah, I don't think he is, you know? Um, because Dable's the hot name, um, where do you see Dable going? I'll let, I'll let you know, but let, where do you think Dable would go? If, I mean, obviously every, there's, Philly. there's one, there, there's Philly. Yeah. You, here's, here's why, right? If you, if you're Philly, you already have Jalen Hurts and you're not really sold on that. You know, you're going to be going and get a quarterback and you know that Dable is going to have the reputation for being a quarterback whisper because they took Josh Allen and, and Josh Allen is now who Josh Allen is. So a team that is willing to put a new asset in a quarterback, that's going to be a team that wants Brian Dable. I really think Philly's QB shopping. They're going to be shopping for a QB in in six months. I just don't believe that they think Jalen Hurts is the answer. I can't believe that they do. So what do you think? Do you think Trubisky goes with Dable? Good. Yeah, good. Like you think that that's the gift that he gives them? (laughs) I mean – it makes an interesting point, right? So if, if you're uh, going to go to like, um, what would be a good example? I don't think Cully survives down in Houston either, right? So I, I don't I don't see that. That's That system's a mess down there. So let's say Dable goes to Houston, right? You say, listen, we've got Trubisky. We know you're going to draft somebody. We'll be fine. It'll work. It'll be fine. I think, I think that's a package deal. Yeah, I think Trubisky goes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm looking. I'm not really finding too much on it. So yeah, I so because I think that's what that's the one of the things that they. I mean, you he's in the system that Dable's running. Mm-hmm. He's on a one year deal. Yep. Wherever Dable goes, you think Trubisky will go because that's the gift that he got for developing Josh Allen, so to speak. But you also have people out. We'll, we'll say Dorsey's waiting in the wings for to do this anyway. He's been in the door. He's been in the system. He knows all everything that's going on there. Mm-hmm. You know they'll have to mix it up, of course, themselves. But you, so because I don't, I don't think it's that catastrophic if both of them happen to go. Even though it would send this this team in a little bit of a frenzy. But you still have McDermott there as a defensive head coach, and you would have Dorsey to, that that's been in the system. It's not like there's nobody there. I don't think Dorsey goes with Dable because he was interviewing for the same job that Dable that they end up giving to Dennison yeah. before Dable got there. Right. So, yeah. you know, I, I, but here's the thing. He'd be the likely a coordinator and either way it goes, right? And yeah. what's the better opportunity? You stay in Buffalo. You're not going to go with a new head coach. No, no you're not going to take a lateral move to go no. to a new system. You know what I mean? Um, no, but that for me, I think Dable goes to the Raiders. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's obviously the, the obvious choice for a lot of people. You got Carr there. You have a lot of weapons there. You can institute a lot of his stuff. Uh, Zay Jones is there. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, but <laughs> the point being the fact is that, that he's in Vegas is just so funny to me. Do you remember that incident with Zay Jones? I think it that was, was in LA Vegas. though. Oh, that was in LA. It was in oh, LA. I thought it was in Vegas. All right, never mind. We ended up ending an episode because you were laughing so hard at it. What I said. <laughs> I said the bill. You said the the because we were talking about the Bills' schedule and the furthest west that they go was Houston. I said it's good because fewer teams against LA, the better. Um, I do remember. That. That's <laughs> <so> funny, <laughs> Lord, I apologize. <laughs> all that being considered, all that stuff being considered, uh, I like I like the Raiders' job because he was going to go over to the AFC West. You remember? I mean, he was he was he okay. said he was only going to take the LA Charger job or no job at all. Which Herbert's there, and a lot of people now. And they're just catching up. They're comparing Herbert to Allen. Yeah. So yeah. 
I mean, I can understand that from from Dable's perspective, but um, at least one of them's got to be gone next year, and not because of their lack of production. Mm-hmm. I just think one of them, it, it's it's their time. Mm-hmm. I just think one of them's got to be a head coach in the NFL somewhere. Yeah, I think Dable has to not be as pay. Dable was patient last off season. Uh, yes. That card's gone now. You know, like you can't you can't keep playing that card. You know, you can't continually be a perennial head coach candidate and just keep turning down jobs. Like that's that's not how this works. You got to pull the trigger at some point. I'm gonna go against the grain though. I'm gonna go against the really? grain here, Paul. Okay. If the Bills make it to the Super Bowl. Uh huh. The Bills make it to the Super Bowl. If they don't win it, one of them's gone. If they win it, I think both will go. You know what I find so interesting about this dynamic, Mar, is a lot of times, you know, like people want to go and be a head coach because they're going to make a lot more money that way, right? Because coaches, sometimes it's about power, right? Sometimes it's about you think yeah. you can do it, you want to challenge yourself. Sometimes it's just about money. There's no limit to the amount of money you can pay a coach. If we say Leslie Frazier, we'll pay you $5 million this season to just not go anywhere. Leslie Frazier's not going to go anywhere. No. Right? Like no. there's no limit to coach salary. So, you could buy your way out of this one pretty good. And and even if you did lose both coordinators at the same time, Mar, Buffalo is a destination. Now. Yes. Coach, yes. Position position coaches will be will be sending their resume and be like, "I am available. I I am available right now. I will be there in <laughs> minutes. I can be there tomorrow. I can be there right now." Because this is a destination now. Well, yeah, the the first thing that to go back to back on your first point real quick is if you are a coach in the NFL, that's a fraternity. You can coach anywhere in the NFL. Then you'll go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Someone will pick you up. If you're an NFL coach, right? Dable, if he wants, can be an NFL coach anywhere in the NFL that he wants. Leslie Frazier, the same way it's fraternity. That's one. Two is I like your point on that. Like if you pay, we'll pay you five minutes. There's some coaches that do have a little bit of ego and want to know that it was them that did the work, not someone else. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Charlie, in the in the case of Charlie Weiss, maybe he wanted to prove that it wasn't Tom Brady. You know, in, in the case of some of these coaches, um, I just had another one in my head. That, you know, they want to talk about, well, was it this or was it that? That was the reason you were successful. They want to try to prove that it was them that, that did the work. Jerry Jones did it with Barry Switzer. He tried to say, well, I could win with any coach. You know what I mean, Jerry, you know, but it was Jerry's team that was on the field that Switzer won with. Well, it was, it was, um, George Seifert ended up winning with Bill Walsh's team the next year. You know what I mean? It was, well, let, let me ask you this then side, side question is Mac Jones, the gift to, uh, Josh McDaniels or does Belichick just burn this city to the ground before he hands that team over? Cause you know, he sold McDaniels. This is, this is your future, right? Like McDaniel no, yeah. is a perennial head coach. Well, he told him. The funniest part about the whole thing was that Bill Belichick agreed to be the head coach of the New York Jets and then wrote on a napkin, I quit, I'm going to New England. Yeah. That is exact. That is basically what McDaniels did to Indianapolis. Yeah. He was going to go there. Nah. So he's back. I think Bill told him, I'm going to hand the reins to you. Right. Um, well, but th- saying, this is, is Mac Jones the gift to Josh McDaniels? Is this? I think it is gift? because – Belichick has never gone for a Bama quarterback and him and Saban are as close as two coaches can get. Mm-hmm. So Saban was like, this is your guy. Mm-hmm. This is your guy next. Go get him. And with the top heavy quarterback class that it was at 15, he was able to snag him. Mm-hmm. It could be, it definitely could be. I don't know. I don't know what's going on behind the, the evil hoodies plans, but I mean, he could, he could let it burn to the ground. It's just another job that's open. Like that, that job's going to become available sooner or later. I just, I just don't see this going as badly as it has, and and Belichick wanting to stick around for this. Well, Belichick may. Do you think he stays on as a GM? Who cares? <laughs> I love it. I love Who it. Who cares? He's a shitty GM. Who cares? Right. But I'm telling you, man, Frazier to the Bears makes too much sense to me. It I makes agree with you. Way too much sense to me. I agree, and maybe that's, and maybe that's, a, that's the job you can't turn down. You know? Yeah, going maybe, back home. Like, maybe that's a job you can't turn down. Uh, I'd hate to see it, but I, uh, I I would be so happy for him. I really would. Well, I you can guarantee Trubisky's not going with Frazier. <laughs> that's what I meant. 